Hey guys, let's subtract two numbers that are in binary notation. So we do one minus one, which gives us zero, zero minus zero, which gives us zero, one minus zero, which gives us one, and then zero minus one we can't do, so we're gonna have to borrow. So we're gonna scratch out this one and make it a zero, and we're gonna be basically borrowing two for this column. For binary, a one in this column is equal to two in this column. And then two minus one gives us one, and then we have another zero minus one, which we can't do, so we're gonna borrow again, and making this a two. Two minus one gives us one. And then once again, we can't do zero minus one, so we're gonna have to borrow, but we can't borrow from here. We're gonna have to borrow all the way from over here. So that gives us a two here. So we're gonna make this two a one, so we can move one over here. But a one in this column is equal to a two in this column. And two minus one is equal to one. And then one minus one is zero, and then zero minus zero is zero. So we don't need these last two zeros. So one zero one one zero one zero one minus one 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 zero zero one is equal to one 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 zero zero. And here's the same problem in decimal notation. One eighty one minus one twenty one equals sixty. How exciting!